Oops, it's all dark. Hello, welcome. Gosh, I'm feeling kind of drowsy. Oops, I'm feeling sleepy. Uh, I don't know. I had that kind of dinner. I don't know. I have one of those dinners that just makes you feel. Oh, snoozy and lazy and like, it's time to take a sleep, but it's not, it's not time to take a sleep. You gotta wake up. Uh, but yeah. Turns out that the Wii U, uh, the online is still up. Thank goodness. And, you know, so I my fears are quelled, at least for now. Uh, yeah, since, since finally facing down Dire Morales, I'm not sure what else I want to do. You know? There's always more equipment to get. I talked, um, I actually upgraded, <laughs> I upgraded Avenir's music box. Oh, oh, no, don't do that. I upgraded the, uh, um, rusted hunting horn, for one. And I could upgrade this, but, uh, I kind of, I want to upgrade the, like, you know, area off lance. And maybe some related stuff. What else do I have? Doom Crown. Oh, this... I... I kind of love this lance design. I'd love to upgrade this one, even though I don't know how much better it gets. I guess... What color is this? Rare 8. I guess it does go up into a G rank. It, be, it be counts as a G rank weapon. Maybe it gets gold, gold beard CDS parts eventually. Uh, it'd be good to get a fire lance. Um, oh yeah, this one. This one is just kind of a goof, and uh, it, it takes a lot of a lot of trades. Uh, I think it's rare trades with the Argozi on the Aqua Spear. Classic, classic Monster Hunter weapon. This is in the very first game. Gotta make the Plesioth lance. Uh, oh, and I could upgrade this one. I don't know if I want to save those parts. And Gobalaku Boska. Gobalaluku Boska. Even. I don't know. There's all this stuff. There's all this stuff to make. Uh, and great swords. Uh, so maybe we're hunting Baryoths tonight. I don't know. Because this is like my only other decent great sword. And it needs Baryoth parts. But yeah, I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, okay. Sorry, game. Sorry that I clicked the minus button a fraction of a second before you were ready. I guess there there are other things that I that I could do that I haven't done yet, like the event quests and arena. Well, that was something. I checked the footage to see what um the guild master here had said last time. And he said that you can just craft the gong hammer now. If you go to the... Ar or I guess you can buy one if you go to the armory? Whoa. Oh, look at this. I didn't even look at the new weapons I could be making. So I got that ports mark. This is it. That needs a lot of crap. Elder dragon bone. I can only imagine where that comes from. And ghostly quartz. Oh, that sounds like that sounds like a certain new lucent creature. Oh, and I guess we can skip some stages in the laggy hammer line. Yeah, and I don't. I died to a latrion, and yet I can see some of the parts that some of the weapons you can make with it. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Meggy. Do Megid Meg Megid do, Megid do core? I don't know. Oh, 
I haven't seen anybody using this. I feel like it might not be a good weapon. That... Oh boy, it's hard to see. Um, I guess that's meant to be, like, its mouth near the, uh, where, like, the jewel would be in the uh, cross guard. It makes me think of Gravios. Uh, is there a lance, too? There is. Oh, that's just straight up a scrunched up <laughs> Dire Morales face. Oh, hey, somebody arrived. It's Ayana, who I've hunted with recently, previously. What's that sweaty like, emoticon? <laughs> Nervous? Busy. Oh. They're busy? It sounds like a latch round parts are all the good stuff. Oh! And flint. Or not a latch round parts, but a latch round equipment is like all the good stuff. Um, gosh, I'm trying to think of like what we should do. We got all this crazy stuff. Uh, all right, I guess I can say like, not sure what we post. Oh, mind. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. I'm gonna use air out parts. Or, um, oh, Flint has a. Jade Baroth hammer. It looks really cool. I don't know. Looking at all of my lances, I feel like Baroth makes the most sense. Because I could also use some Zenogar parts for that other lance. Ooh. That's in the arena. Yeah, I'm kind of... I'm kind of paralyzed with choice after beating... After beating the, the Elder Dragon. Uh... Gosh, where's the... Uh, No, not that one. Is it Hungry Eyes? Oh, that's Nargakuga. Uh, no. Bump off very odd. There we go. Uh, I was just thinking of how awful it would be to manage to scroll through the quest list using, like, the original UI for... <laughs> or using first gen UI where like oops it shows like kind of an entire page there we go gosh that'd be miserable no what the what there we go I keep targeting Ayana instead of the interactable that I've run over to uh, wow specialist twice on a weapon that I don't have Anything special? Uh, you know what? We'll go with the usual. With, I guess we're eating for Flint. Oh, there they are. I got to make sure. Oh, I forgot to buy regular potions. Okay. Oh, somebody's got somebody's got the feline mask on their cha cha. It's aesthetically, it's the mask I like the best because it also makes cha 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 does cat noises, which is better than like the usual stuff. Better than the usual calls that, that he does. Oh yeah, I just realized. Maybe I realized this before. I never really pointed it out. 
It seems like the Gen Moran armor is kind of styled similar to Lao Shan. And not for no reason. Because I think Ayan is wearing... Unless I'm mistaken. Yeah. Wearing the... Uh, Halo Gen... Greaves. Or boots or whatever you call them. Flint just making sure that he's got his stuff. And I got dung bombs this time so that there's no chance that we just keep getting locked down by a devil Joe or some other invader. Devil Joe seems to be the most common invader though, though I know there are others. It's just always, it's always Joe. I don't know why Joe is the one that always shows up. There we go. All right. If we're all ready to go, then we go. <laughs> Bump off, Barrioth. That's a very nice way of putting it. I told that Barrioth to go bump off. Oh, the entrance is right here. I'm, like, disoriented from the starting position. Oh, hello, hello Bullfangos. Aw, oh, dang it. I was going to try and sneak up. But I think I'm going to get roared off the ledge. No, no, not quite. I might get killed, though. Whoa. Oh, I frickin' missed. Oh, hey, Barry. <laughs> Barry, uh, just kind of chilling. Oops. Hip check. Oh, Flint took a big hit. Oh. I'm gonna try and run in a direction that I don't knock people over. Yeah. Whoops. Flint has flinch, flinch free on that armor. I did that or there was enough of a desync that I didn't actually hit him. Oops. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I mean, I mean, freaking sorry. Oh. Well, oh, we got a trap. We got on the trap.
I love the sound of the spinning. Whatever this weapon is. I don't even remember what it's called. It's, oh, it is Sky Sunder. All right. Was it about to roar? Oops, I missed. Oh no, I didn't miss. I just didn't hit very much. Oh, nice timing. That was amazing. I love this music. Very Gonna get you. Oh, it's so tired. I feel bad every time it happens. This poor guy. This poor monster. It's exhausted and its its body is broken. Oh, oh nice. Good job. I don't think I had to heal once during that fight. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh wait, it was too early. There we go. I can't I can't steer it, so I'm just gonna hit the wall. I'm gonna hit the ledge, I mean. Oh, I didn't even get that far. Yay! Oh, a constitution. I think I already have one of these. Man, there's so much. There's so much stuff. There's like too many. There's too many stuff in this game. How am I supposed to know what I have and what I don't have? I swear, I've gotten duplicate. I've gotten myself duplicate weapons more times than I can count from the rust, rusted uh, stones and stuff. Oh, cool. Veggie a Vilgiolger Turkit. Turkit. A Turducken. Uh, what am I looking at? No, this one. Not even close. I can make this. Ooh, this needs heavy amber tusks in Barrel Lash. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have a lot to say. Yeah. Are they gonna post? Apparently I had another hot trick. Yeah. There we go. Uh. Uh. Oh, 
Howdy. We got a full team. Oh. Oh, actually, Rachel is still HR6. Uh, you wanna post. Clear some of. Uh, maybe clear some of their. Uh, As much as I want to make new equipment, I kind of like my loadout right now. Although, it'd be great to... It'd be great to replace the Narga male with something else. I don't know that there's anything that would have all the... Oh, maybe. Oh, because it has handicraft, that's why. I would need to make the Baryoth helm, I think, to replace that handicraft. Or make gems. Decos, I mean... Maybe? Do I have handicraft decos now? Because I've... Because I've had, um... I've gotten Dire Morales parts. Nope. Oh, yes. It is Morales Fireclaw. It's three slots. And it takes... It only gives me two. Alright. Uh, let me see real quick. Uh... Barry, 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 where are you, Barry? Oh, there it is. Yeah, because Barry has handicraft, but I don't have parts to make it. Okay. Let's go. Oh, did they take down the house? I don't know. That's up. Oh, weird. I guess if you're in the marina, you can't see that somebody's posted a quest. Oh, nice. I can always use more conqueror seals. Uh, I think Polisher will be good for the long run. Oh, Explorer. Wait, Explorer is... You start in the hidden area. Okay, well, hang on. I gotta get some picks and uh, bug nets if we're doing that. I'm ready. I'm ready. As the famous philosopher Sponge Robert once said. The greatest thinker of our time. Oh, what's this mix Rachel has going on? I'm curious what skills they get from it. It's got the, like, moss garl parts. The jack-o'-lantern. Yeah. Oh. Oh, is there no bug spot up here? I thought there was. Where? Yeah. I always use coxets too. I've got to make use of this because this is where the dragon bone relics hang out, and I still need some of them for some for some of the like fun items that I want to make. Eat it. I got too many items. Are they fighting? There must. Ayana must be fighting Lagombi to get snowballed. Okay, I'm coming the wrong way. I'm going. Damn, they're getting snowballed a lot. 
That's that must be the life of the long sword. Oh, there it goes. Oh no, late Rachel's asleep. Oh, come on. I've been fighting Lagambi a bunch. So I'm kind of... I've learned the G rank loadout. Boot set. Whatever you want to call it. Man, I love this song. I don't... I haven't hunted an Azure... an Azure. Oh, what the heck am I saying? An Arzuros. I haven't hunted an Arzuros in a long time either. Uh, I miss that silly bear. Yeah, gotcha. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, don't run in front of me. Oh, uh, well, it's too far. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, Nice. Wow, what a monster. I haven't used a thing yet. But by which I mean a wet uh, mega potion, so there's not much point. But I will sharpen. Oh my gosh, they, got, they both got slipped. Sleeped. I'm tempted to go for the bones, but better to dispatch the monsters first. Oh my gosh, it's a it's a great baggie. Who would have known? Although, actually, now that I think of it, probably makes sense to keep split up because, like, how like where am I going to attack this monster and not hit somebody else? Nice. Uh, well, you know what? You can kill the small monsters for rations, so let's go do that. I'm gonna save a little bit on my, uh, stamina items and get... Oh, did- oh, did Ionic kill Bullfango in here? Ah, oh, dang it. I should have slowed down and got a Bullfango. Bum, bum. Oops. Oh, well. I should have stuck around and got a baggie, because I'm sure somebody killed one. Just in case anybody didn't know. It's such a weird feature of these quests, but that's how it is. Hello! Oh, I just- I just hopped into that. Oh, oh I just got that ration just in time, too. Oh, 
Fiddle <laughs> swords. And fiddle swords are kind of like unintentionally the funniest weapon in this game. At least in a group. Apart from maybe like the great sword when you when you swing. Oops. in the monster's books. I'm gonna sharpen. Yeah, this quest goes so fast with four people. I was doing this one solo to get more conqueror seals, and it took like 30 minutes or something. I don't even remember. found it. Let's go. What the what? It ran all the way over here just to come at me and now it's going back over there. Cool. as well use some mega potions like without any reservation. Oop. Oop. Oops. Oh, I gotta use another hot drink already. I should have paid attention to how long we've been playing and then I'd be like, oh, I need to do a hot drink now. I never do that. Got your items delivered. Oh man, I was gonna try and I was gonna try and use the long swords attack as like a counter planet move that I could counter. Oh, uh, wait. Gotta bow as if it would be able to see me bow. May as well mine while I'm here. Oh, rice. Well, ice crystal's not all that valuable. Come on, give me something I don't have. Uh... Well, I'm not going to keep a ranch. It's the one thing that you can do during the end sequence. And I will always do something. Punish oh, Punishing Draw 5. That sounds pretty good. Uh, I think I have a better reload tally, but I don't know. Yay. Oh, wait, do you get... Oh, I guess ever since Monster Hunter 2... If you do subquests, you get... Oh, but wait, what am I talking about? This game doesn't have subquests. I can't... I, th this can be so confusing. Try had subquests like the games before it, but this one doesn't. Presumably, Portable 3rd also had subquests. I don't know why they did away with them. It's such a jaunty tune. 
The only thing more... The only thing more exciting... The only thing more likely to get you to dance is... The... Sea Shanty number two. Of... Uh, RuneScape Infamy. Infamy. Im Im Infamy. Oh, that's right, I was gonna see what Rachel gets from all this stuff. Oh, latent power. I guess, like, when you're- I think that's when you're damaged enough, you- No, that's not right. It's like, uh, I don't remember how that works. Focus is cool. Oh, what, is, what set does Flint have? Oh, I just Diablos you. I got earplugs. Stamina Thief. Oh, yeah. Stamina Thief is great for a hammer because you're already hitting them in the head. <gasps> Fishing mission. Uh, I'm trying to think if fire is good for a Oh, whatever. I'll, I'll use this lance because I, I have it. Everybody's favorite, not fish. Because I think that the monster descriptions always go out of their way to explain that they are not fish. They are superficially fish-like. Oh my gosh. I only just noticed the frickin'... I never noticed until now. Superficially. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Uh, you know what? I'll bring Nullberries because Water Blight is really annoying. It's just a fun old monster hunt in time. I don't even know if these are key quests, but hopefully... Some of them are. We can help Rachel rank up. All right, if you ready up, you can't even do like gestures and stuff. That's weird. In Monster Hunter 1, you could always, you could still do gestures. I think. You just couldn't like, you couldn't access your menu, but you could open the chat, which is where your, um, the chat menu is where all the gestures were. Ah, oh, man. The, it really bothers me. The Narga male... The Narga male throws off this entire armor set. It, like, does not... It just doesn't fit in the slightest. But it gives me evasion. Or... Well, it gives me... it. No, it gives me um, handicraft. That's the part that I need. If I hunted more Berioth, I could replace the helmet. I could, like, swap out the torso with the Agnactor torso. And I think the helmet with the Berioth helmet, which has plus two handicraft on it. Maybe? I might also have to slot a gem. And I don't think I have a three spot on any of these. What are we waiting for? Oh, Rachel's got her stuff. No worries. Hey, Crimson Gunner. Welcome to the stream. Doing, uh... Letting other, letting other people post what they need. No worries. Uh... Let other people post stuff, because I finally... I unlocked my Hunter Rank cap. And I got some cool equipment. But how are you doing, buddy? I don't... I haven't seen you in the, uh, around for a while. Yeah. We're gonna go hunting some Plesiot. Fission mission, which is not to be confused with fission 
fission mission, which would be to do with uh, establishing a nuclear reactor. Oh, smart. Ayana brought um, frogs. Oh, uh, you've been on Twitch a little less lately. That's fair. I'm like, I'm basically only on Twitch when I'm streaming, which, you know, I can totally relate to like not being around. Hey. Oh, did, did we get the green one first? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, the camera's going all weird. I wish I had a good fire weapon. A good fire lance. Oh, somebody killed it. Somebody killed him in a havre. You want to stream more, but you've been bummed out. Oh, you're getting a you're getting like a VTuber model? That sounds cool. Whoa. Oh, okay. I thought it was doing the sweeping attack for a second. I was terrified. Rachel, we have Rachel, we have the trap. We set up us the trap. And the freaking the, Nah the Nahabra triggered my block so I couldn't attack it. Oh, live 2D. Oh, neat. I've seen some of those and they look really creative. I love that effect of like the layered elements to create a, a movable character. Uh, I keep trying to I keep trying to like counterattack the other hunters' moves, by the way, because I know that I'm pretty sure that's a thing that you can do. Like, it'll actually trigger the counterattack. Uh, that sounds awesome. That sounds awesome, Crimson Gunner. Aw, oh, poor asthmatic Plezzy. Gosh. Where is it? There it is. Good job. That was fast. I feel like we got a, um... Oh, we, we only put it to sleep as well. Well, second Plezzy. You know, it seems silly that the shock trap would have, like... This second Plesgoth could run into the shock trap and not get trapped by it, I think, because it's already been... It's still active, but, like, technically, it's already been triggered. Even though, like, sensibly it should be able to. Oh, crap. Oh, oh what are we doing? What's happening? Yeah, I think we're fighting high rank plus the odds. Which maybe that's all all the parts that Rachel needs. You know? Oh, I uh, that was done. Oh, no, no. Okay. I only got hit by the current. Oh, I can't see. Whoa, we got two breaks. Oh. 
Oh, where am I? Where am I? Where are they? Where's everybody else? I gotta look out for Ayana and the Lock Sword. Oh, you almost wish you had a Wii U to play. Almost. Where, where did I go? Oh, there I am. Yeah, it would be... F it would be nice to see more people on this, but I mean, I can understand... The Wii U is like the least accessible version for many reasons. So I can totally understand why people... Uh, like, all the population is on Citra. Like, I don't blame anybody for picking the 3DS version over this one. You know. Yeah. Good job. Good Oh, right. Yeah, one of these days I'll probably just end up transferring my save. Uh, transferring my save over to 3DS anyway. Go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, look at that. The rings, the rings don't spin with the rest of it. I never noticed. Yeah, the big difference is you own a 3DS and you don't own a Wii U. That's, that's what I mean, right? Wii U, uh, emulation doesn't... Did that say Uber Plesioth head? What a weird choice. Oh, there's a mini Plesioth. And a regular green Plesioth. And my hunter rank has increased. It told me twice. Uh, but yes, anyway, yeah. Simu, last last I checked, Simu can't connect to this game specifically, even though it can do other online games through Pretendo, I think, or something. Maybe it's not Pretendo, but I, uh, I don't remember. I'm going to see if I can make the Plesia thing I was going to make. Actually, I have a few Plesia things. Well, if you've heard Simu can be, you have to dump files from your actual Wii U. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Simu... You have to have, like, a real profile or something? It's something like that. Wait, where's the aqua sphere? Oh, I need brilliant liquid. Okay. But yeah, uh, it needs, like, um... You need, like, your real profile, and I think... I don't know. There's all this, there's all this stuff that made it seem, like, really risky to do. Ooh, look at this deep blue sea. Um, uh, oh, it costs so much money. I'll, I'll do my weapon change, uh, changes and upgrades some of the time. But yeah, when I was looking into it, you, like, take your profile out of your Wii U. So, like, your actual Wii U, the profile has, you have to keep your Wii U because the profile is attached to it, and Simu is just ends up using, like, a duplicate. And... Yeah. There's, like, a risk that you can get banned, I guess, but I don't know, like, what the, like, what that, what would trigger that, or, like, whatever. Um. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like you're saying, ultimately, you need to have a real Wii U anyway. Uh, it'd be worth doing. I would love to play this game at a stable frame rate instead of the wonky jittery one that makes it hard to fight Dire Morales and some other things. Nintendo hates emulation. Yeah, that's true. Unless they're selling it to you, then they love it. Yeah, that's true. You should have a real console if you're emulating anyway. Yeah, unless unless it's like a really... I don't know. Unless it's like a Dreamcast. Like, how expensive are those? I'd love to emulate some old Dreamcast games. But I can see, like, from that argument, I can I can see why that. I think Dreamcast emulation is not very good anyway, so what am I talking about? I think at least so far I've always played stuff on, um... I've always been playing stuff on equipment that I have or, or emulating what I could have, so... Hopefully I haven't run afoul of any... Anybody who would cause a problem. Oh, Rachel's waiting for somebody to post, okay. Or waiting for uh, Ayana's post? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but the 3DS isn't retro yet. Yeah, it's about to be. I mean, today is the day, right? Today is the death of the 
3DS and Wii U eShops. Um, at least partial death. Oh. Uh, oh, I was too sl I was too late. I have a shout out to say that quickly. Oh well. Uh Oh, Ayana left too. Oh. Thanks. Hey, uh. Okay. Uh well, you know what? It's a little early, but maybe I should take a um Oh, wait. You staying? Oh, okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> I guess we ride right around for new people. Or I could join somebody else's room. Why don't we do that? Or uh, maybe I shouldn't do that. I'll let, I'll let people join this room. Well, there's been a lot of projects made with different mods for Monster Hunter 2 different mods I mean I'm I'm still waiting for Monster Hunter 2 the private server um I'm I'm still waiting for the private server to go up that's all really What kind of mods though I'm curious You know, while we're waiting for people, I'm going to go see what I could do with this stuff. Yeah, um, Break Arts is doing the full English tr patch, right? Yeah, I've heard a lot about that. Um, I think they, they, uh, I think they've even reached out to people who are in the beta online server to test stuff out, which is awesome. If you want to get people to, like, actually test that stuff, that's how you do it. That's right. I have Handicraft 3. And I have a Handicraft Tally, so if I can get Handicraft on the head. Oh, and there's a dose version of MH+. You know, weirdly enough, um, I've gotten so used to the original control scheme that I don't... I wouldn't want to change it, really. Because... However more accessible it is, I would just have to relearn how to play the game, you know? I've been playing for so long. Oh, hey, welcome to stream. You uh, you want to join? Yeah. Go for it. I mean, I would like to w wait it for any number of people who are joining. Oh, here we go. Handicraft 2. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't mind waiting a few minutes. If you have the Wii U version... Uh, let's see. Yeah, you don't know how to feel about MH+. Anything that requires multiple buttons is low. Oh, that's right. They do kind of the, um... Like, hold a trigger and press a button to get certain, uh, certain activations. Which, I guess, is what you have to do without making some really big backend changes. I mean, Yuzuchi is, is like a wizard, so... Like, even what they managed to accomplish is huge and amazing and awesome. God, I'm thinking I've got to get this Baryoth Helm for the Handicraft, so... Letting y'all know that's what I'm going to be posting. We're going to do uh, at least one more Baryoth, maybe two, depending on how lucky we get. Oh, look at that. Durambros has... Uh... Oh my gosh, this is straight up, like... This is straight up like a Power Rangers helmet, or maybe even Galleon. Look at that thing. I know Anmine. I know all the Anmines. Oh wait, this ha this is handicrafted and I can make it already. What am I talking about? And it's got the, it's cool, it's gold, and it's got the like Anubis headdress look. Oh, or even just doing try and circle together. I mean, I've gotten used to that, but it it doesn't work all the time. <laughs> I totally I totally sympathize. Uh, well, gosh, I should make this right. I mean, it's got like sharpness minus two, but 
It's got like a three slot. It's got a three slot, so I could even slot more handicraft. Um, or is Celine X the one that people... Which one is the one that people say is the good one? Celine X or Z? I guess I see Celine Z a lot more. I'm not going to presume this is the better one, but I am going to make it. Yay. So wait, what's on? Now that I think of it, I remember the Ignactor Helm Z having not great stuff. Oh, no, wait. Yes, it does. It just has Constitution minus three. So let's do a little theory crafting right now. If I go back to... Oh, you know what? It says the same guard and guard up. So I think Ignactor Z is a perfect replacement and it looks cool. So what do we have if I do this? Oh my gosh, I have exactly the same. <laughs> hmm. Uh, there we go. Is it done? It's done. No fear. I just, as a rule, I don't, I like generally don't say anything about these things so that it doesn't encourage any more. Anyway, nothing happened. Don't worry about it. Twitch is a perfectly, has a perfectly good moderation system. Uh, you know what? I'm going to change everything to the cool, to the like hot pink that I've been using. Hot pink. Uh, but I think we got here, like, a good, if not better, armor set. Um, better, better for my eyes, because I like the way it looks. Okay. Saturation up. Let's get some red in there. Right about here, I think that's it. That's, that's close enough. I you know what, this actually, I like this combo. It's a little bit... It's a little bit wonky in places, but I like the look of this armor combo. Uh, let's see, Ardian? Okay, so Ardian is the existing mix. And if I do it, then... Oh wow, I have better resistances except for Dragon. And slightly lower defense, but that's cool. Yay! I'm doing it, I'm doing the mixed set builds! And they, like, don't look ugly. Oh, oh, oh god, I don't have space for anything. I'll look. Don't worry about all those tallies. That looks horribly ugly, but I'll clean it up some other time. Uh. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Wow. And it's even got an empty three slot. What can I put in this stuff? Oh, I've got to redo the color. Oh, I hate that upgrading the armor removes your color pigment. Why does it do that? Like the, it must be a bug or just a consequence of how the system works, but it's so bad. Do you care nothing about fashion, Monster Hunter? Oh yeah, actually, actually hang on. I can just unslot all the gems I had because I think they were just, oh no, well, not all of them. I can unslot some of the gems. I gotta keep the guard up gems. Because they give me just enough. But I've got like a one slot, a two slot, and a three slot. Okay. Okay. Uh, I wish you could store color. Why can't it store a color? Slowest cursor you ever saw. Picking colors. I couldn't think of a rhyme. Uh, maybe I should make the headdress a different color. Now I'll just try to match it as much as I can. There we go. Yeah, and let's save. 
Oh, you know what? It feels silly, but it's time for the midstream break. Um, so I guess I'll mark myself as AFK. I hope nobody joins and then is immediately like, what the heck, this guy isn't even here. But, oh, you know, you know how it is. Time for the midstream break. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Got to get up and stretch, combat the, you know, combat the, you know, bad leg stuff. I gotta let Ken know. Ken, Ken is a regular friend. Howdy. Gotta take a quick break. Oh, that's you. Oh, perfect. Then you already know. All right. Yeah, sure thing, bud. Please enjoy these bopping tunes while I take a few minutes break. Alright, I'm back a little quicker than I thought. Oh, and Tyrek. I've seen a lot of familiar faces tonight. Howdy. Uh. Yeah, there we go. Um. So, yeah, I'm guessing. I guess I'll post. I was thinking about doing Sand Baryoth, except that uh, if I want to eventually do Gold Wraths, I should have a Thunder Lance, I think. And the closest thing I have to making a good Thunder Lance is the Zenogre one. So I think actually you're going to do Zenogre. I don't even need rare Zenogre parts, it's just like the regular ones. I have like two Zenogre Jaspers, so. And I haven't done this one yet, so let's let's get into it. Uh there we go. 
Oh, did somebody use a voucher? Or did we get really lucky? Maybe let's luxuriant. Uh, only the Nullberry's pine this time. Anyway, whoop. You know, I'm not crazy about this helmet with this. Oh no, you know what? Uh, it looks it looks good. Never mind. I was gonna complain about the helmet, but I, I can actually, I kind of like the look overall. The uh, the like flared skirt and the like thick armor with the colors all on it. Yeah, it looks good. I'm I'm not a fashion person, so I don't know the language to describe this stuff. Tyrek is working with a nibble, nibble snarf gun. What's bonus shot? Oh, if you have rapid fire. That's interesting. The big problem, it seems to me rapid fire is not as good a uh, skill as it sounds like. Or bow gun, like light bow guns rapid fire. It like pins you down to fire all the shots. And they take, a, they take like a, maybe a little bit less time than if you fire them one at a time. So in practice, it makes sense in solo play so that you can save ammo. I think like on online and at high levels, it doesn't it doesn't really uh, play out very well. I don't know, but I'm thinking I've only heard I'm only saying what I've heard from like Monster Hunter two times where that was supposedly the case. I don't know. I'm. I've been playing Lance this whole game, and I'm not even an expert at that. Oops. I keep hitting the... I keep hitting L by mistake. Uh... Which status is that? Mic off. Okay. But it's not chat off. Are they here? Tyrek around here somewhere? Look at the sleeping feline, the garçon. Oh, there they are, getting food. Man, that G-rank Baryoth armor is fly. It reminds me of the, like, guild... Guild Knight armor from the first gen. But, like, you actually get to wear it as a female player. Maybe I should make some of that. At least the the waist part to get that cool coat. Oh, and I can even check what skills you get with it. Oh, sharpness and evasion. Oh, neat. I'm all about the cool looking armor. That's why I'm Probably gonna make a great sword set that like doesn't have any skills on it just to have like a good fashion. Get a good fashion look. I actually did that a little bit in Generations. Um in Generations Ultimate. I came up with oh, the secret area again, and I don't have picks this time, well. Uh but in Gen U, I made myself some fashion armor sets that look like or that use parts from first gen as well as some ones that use only parts from third gen so I have like first and third gen fashion sets specifically for that purpose I guess one of the neat things about gen U like having played having gone back and played the older games a lot more namely Monster Hunter 1 I guess and 2 uh, gen ultimate kind of triggers like a retroactive nostalgia nostalgia after the fact gosh I spawned so far away but it's cool I should play some more gen U sometime also I have a feeling I may have gone the longest way or no this is fewer loading screens so it probably is shorter uh oh it's charging up his energy. If only I thought to bring sonic bombs or a, a thingummy, a flash. 
I don't remember if flash bombs even damage though. Or if there's a response to flash. Probably not. That's gonna go. I forgot he I forgot Zenogar even has the like Super Saiyan explosion after it that you know powers up like it's not the exact same sound, but it's very similar. Oh! Maybe I should have brought Null Berries after all. I, like, have not learned how to fight Zenogre properly in this game. Whoops. Oh, why is he going after the bow gunner? Oops. Sorry. Where's the where's the sorry emote? There it is. Oh, I forgot. It's angry, so it does three. And I'm I'm about to let it kill me. God damn it. Stun, locked to death. This is why I bring an ancient potion to every battle. Oh no, Ken, not you too. That's the nice thing about it being a bow gunner is that you can, if you're willing to waste ammo to do it, you can, uh, Rescue somebody from a knockout from a distance. Or from sleep and a handful of other things. Or maybe that's all. That's it. I guess sleep and KO. That's just both is going to be a problem. I can tell. The heck? The silly Zenogre ran across the whole freaking map to get to Tyra. <laughs> Oh. The only part about this great music that I regret is that you don't really get to, p to enjoy it while you're hun while you're hunting. Only does two. Oops. No, Tyrek, no. Okay. I was checking to make sure that they weren't like KO'd or something. At least this is easier to deal with than Stygian Zenogre, where it's actually doing attacks. It's actually doing attacks while while that happens. Oh, here's the shiny. Shiny! Oh. Man, Stygian Zenogre was a big wake-up call, because... It's got, like, the dragon lightning strikes while it's charging up. It, like, does that slow walk that also does the, like, you know, surrounding it, dragon lightning. And it just hits so hard. Oh, its head was actually low enough for me to hit it. That's so rare. It's an ogre. Oh, and that's right. It also does the, like, four Draco phages. Man, Stygian Zenogre's Draco phages are, like, insane because they just... If you're Lance especially, you just have to block all... Like, you just have to wait and block all of them and take whatever the stamina hit is. Or you or you could be smarter in brain, you know. Oh. 
I thought it was going to be. Uh, enter, uh, dash juice. That's what I was thinking. You can be smarter and bring dash juice. Nice. We got a head break number one. Oh. Oh, I thought I heard. I thought I heard. Hey, oh, birds. Man, I gotta get some ice weapons for, for monsters like Zenogre. Oops. Oh, I forgot. Nice. Another head break. Oh, we got an arm break, too. I didn't exactly realize it. Oh, it's like half charged. It's a, it's a, like, what's the Kaioken or whatever? Is that it? The thing where Goku gets red. I don't really know Dragon Ball Z very well. Even though I insist I'm making references to it. But Zenogar is very, it just, it feels very Dragon Ball Z. Oh, hello. Zenogar wasn't going after me, yeah? Oh. That actually was recoiling. Oh, I'm gonna relax. I, I could have said something. Oops. Sorry. Oh. This big silly dog. I guess the back must be really weak or something, because that's what Ken keeps going for. I was getting ready to counterattack that, because I think I can. Unless I'm wrong, I think I can actually counterattack. Oh man, it's big. It's hitting big now. I gotta look out, because I'm just gonna get KO'd if he hits me really hard. Ooh, nice. It's already one fight. I got a lash. Listen, no girl, what are your eyelashes doing in your tail? You silly dog. Silly big doggy. Oh, I almost ran into. Oh, I did run into. Sorry. Is there dead Gargoy here? Or is that the Gargoy Carcass? Oh, I think there's actually dead Gargoy. No, oh, oops. No, I'm supposed to bow to the monster before I carve it. This is bad juju. Hang on. Yeah. Ow.
The bot might have had you if it didn't use the cringe name Doge Hype. Yeah. That's true. I noticed, I, I did notice that, and I was like, man, that's pretty hilarious, but also, I kind of don't want to remark on it. The rule of thumb is to, like, don't acknowledge the bots and the spams and stuff. But, you know. It's so funny because I was just watching, um... It's not directly related to crypto stuff. I actually know it is directly related to crypto stuff. I was watching a video about um, Decentraland and all things related. And uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to burst any bubbles or like tread on any toes, but it seems really dumb. <laughs> it seems like, on the face of it, it seems really dumb. And the video kind of went in depth on some of the problems. But it was also largely about the metaverse, right? Which I hadn't realized, like, it's basically just when people are talking about the metaverse and trying to sell people on it, it's basically just talking about the modern internet. But they can't say that because then it's like, well, what are you even selling me? Like, what, are, what you know, what changes are you even trying to do? But it kind of boils down to they use... Metaverse Talk has to use VR as a selling point in order to justify talking about VR, like the Metaverse as being any different than, you know, how the internet works now, right? I don't know. It's 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 pretty complicated. It was uh, Dan Olson of uh, holding ideas to this video, and I was like, wow, that's pretty strange and amazing in, uh, in like a bad way. But fascinating. I love to hear about all this weird stuff and to like have a better sense of what... I don't know that I totally understand what's going on with metaverse people, but I have I feel like I have a better sense now. Uh, which... Wait. It was called... Hunting the Hunter. Here it is. Uh, I don't know. You may think of it because of the Doge, Doge hype and Doge coin and all that stuff, all that, all that silly dumb stuff. But it's like I don't know. It's kind of funny to laugh at some of these like outings, but like at the same time, it's almost like it's self-selecting. Kind of like the only people who are going to buy into that stuff are the ones who are gullible enough to fall for it, or who are savvy enough to and like unscrupulous enough to, you know, uh, scam people out of their money. I don't know. It's weird. I was always uh, cryptocurrency always kind of like made me gave, gave me pause and be like, what. It seemed like a little... The way people always talked about it, it seemed kind of sketchy. Like, too good to be true. People talking about, like, oh, I made $1,000 on Bitcoin. I'm like, did you, though? Like, what, what... And, like, what was the purpose of that? I don't know. And then learning more about it in the last few years, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm glad I didn't get involved in that because that sounds really bad. I, don't know. I think, funny enough, NFTs... The big triumph of NFTs is finally demonstrating on, um, like, a very large scale how bad cryptocurrency is as an idea. At least the way that it's implemented. The idea of putting everything on the blockchain. Gosh. It's kind of hilarious, but also terrifying, because if people actually did, like, if we actually fall into that system, then it's really bad. Like, all of your information being on the blockchain... Scary. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna hunt another Zenogre. Oh, isn't this nice? Oh, but I gotta eat I gotta eat a steak. I don't know.
I only hesitate to talk about this, that kind of stuff on on stream because I like it's kind of a bummer if I go too far into it, into those topics, and then like I don't know. I want the stream to be a fun, like escapist place, right? most more or less. Oh. Ouch! Whoa, that was a near miss. It didn't hit Zenogre, but it didn't hit me neither. Oh, get out of the corner, buddy. Nice. Nice stagger. Yeah. Oh, I got I got like a nice little like corner of the collision to like stay in. Oh, Zenogre knocked down a tree. Zenogre is a, a proponent of deforestation. We gotta kill it. It's gonna ruin the, the, the ecosystem. Although, or then again, if Unreal History, if Unnatural History Channel is anything to go by, maybe that's like a function. Maybe that's a function of this ecosystem that Zenogre is supposed to perform. Breaking trees and stuff. In which case, it's a good thing. Oh my god. So no grizzly is like jumping around trying to get out of the corner. Poor guy. Ah, I'm too cold. Ah, oh, you know what? It's my fault for doing so many lance charges. I should totally... I totally need to just sharpen at in a safe distance. But yeah, on a... Yeah, on a more light note, a Natural History Channel did this, their latest... Um, ah, there we go. I got the counter. A Natural History Channel did their latest... Uh, video on, like, how animals... Uh, how monsters in particular might provide, like, really valuable functions in the ecosystem. Okay, I hope I didn't hit Ken, did I? Okay, I didn't. Yeah! That's what I was trying to do this whole time, because I knew that it would interrupt the lightning bug charging. Or Thunderbug charging. I want to say lightning, because it should be lightning, but whatever. Wouldn't it be neat to have a game that had thunder as an element, but it really was, like, sound? It was, like, sound element? I guess it would be so confusing, because video games often deliberately call, like, electrical stuff thunder. Anyway... Uh, I was, yeah, I was reminded of, uh, Unnatural History videos, Unnatural History channels, uh, like, monsters, uh, like, latest video, I guess, at time of writing. At time of writing? I'm not writing. Gosh, uh, so my brain don't work. I'm just playing. Oh gosh, is it like, this is like a Basarios where you flash bomb it and it just like will not stop roaring until the flash goes away. Nice. We got our part breaks. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I highly recommend UHC's C's latest video. I recommend most of their videos. Ooh. It's a great channel. Ooh, that almost hit me. For probably a lot of damage. Oh no, Ken. Okay, Ken got out of it. Oh man, I wanted to get the thing, but I don't think I did. 
Where am I going? Oh. Those who hunt together get knocked out together. Is that water shot? Sure looks like it. I didn't know element shot was good in this game or not. Maybe it is for, it's, I guess it's like, I guess element shot is like it's always been. Where it's like good for, it's good for like certain monsters. If you hit him in the right spot. Oh, I can counter that. Awesome. I wasn't sure I could. Three minutes, eh? Oh, I think I got a sharp again. Damn, man, it was just a tear. Where are you going? Okay. Oh. Come on, hit him. I probably should have brought flash bombs out after noticing all this. Oh, I waited too long. Yeah, come on. There we go. I spent my purple sharpness ill advised, I think. Oh. Oh, what? Okay. Lol. Oh, I don't have a lolly boat. Oh, whatever. Oh, weird. I'm so used to Monster Hunter 1 aggro range. Like, those bullfangos would 100% have gotten me. Have gotten aggroed in Monster Hunter 1. Or Monster Hunter 2. But not here. I'm, like, too far away. Even though I'm well with an eyesight. goes lumbering off. That looks like a limp if I've ever seen one. But as usual, Lance Tarch is too slow. No. But uh, to finish on my thought on the like Unnatural History Channel video I keep, I keep trying to talk about. It was um, the sentiment is that, you know, like large monsters kind of like the top of uh, the top of the top predators. Oh, oops. I was a little late. <laughs> Sorry, Ken. I totally, like, hit you after you got out of, uh, after you got out of being stunned. Nice. We got him. Oh, and we get to watch the lightning bugs. Ah, oh, It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad to see the lightning buzz go, like, loose out of it. Like, it's the final sort of dying moment. Now, come on, I need the shell shockers. It's giving me electro fur. I mean, maybe I can make some Zenoga armor, but I don't know if it's any useful to me. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, frickin', I'm trying to, like, sneak into position. This will have to do. Oh, wait. I know what I want to do. Oh, oh. Yeah. Look at me go. I can't turn, but... 
D-Shocker. A shell with... A shell that sh with electric power that shames even lightning. <gasps> Is it... Over 2.21 gigawatts? Of electrical energy? Of electrical... Uh, of power... Uh, watts or power? So, so, like, energy over time. Hey there. Hey there, Mizutsune. Uh, yeah, I'm playing on Wii U. Sure am. We got that nice, uh, that UI that's designed for a bigger, uh, screen. Which has meant that there are far fewer people playing than if I played on, uh, on 3DS. But, you know celebrating i'm enjoying the servers while they're still going because they ain't got they didn't get shut down with uh or well i don't know if the eShop is getting shut down like if it's already been shut down or if it's shutting down later today but the server's still going yeah that's right we you <laughs> we f uh, we we for me and you I remember hearing somewhere somebody suggest- Oh, did I not get any Zenogar Shockers? Oh, wait, are they? Oh, wait, maybe just Zenogar Shockers are high rank parts. Oh, or Shocker Plus. I have no idea. Uh, but let's do, like, Sand Baryoth instead. Because <laughs> I could really use that Ice Weapon. Sand Baryoth are- Something that drops Elder Dragon blood, maybe? Oh, you need help getting G rank. Oh, the room's already full, but I would. I'm usually playing. I play pretty often. So, yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind playing uh, to help people up from lower ranks. Wonder, do we have. Oh, you know what? I guess we gotta unlock the Hallowed Gen, huh? I was looking at Kiraniko to see what quests are in this rank, and I don't see it. Oh well, let's do uh, Sandberry off then. Uh, you don't think game servers are shutting down with the eShops? Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I certainly hope they aren't. But you know, I wasn't gonna be sure until. Uh, there's no way to really be sure until the day comes and goes, right? Because it's like, I don't know, th this setup is all weird. Yeah, I'm going to check Kiraniko later and see... Where, whether I, we should be, like, capturing Zenogre for those parts or whatever. Whoa. You got $110 worth of games for 13 bucks. Yeah, oh, that's right. All the sales are on now, right? Yeah, if I had, like, the cards, the gift cards or whatever to add to... I thought about going on, like, a spending spree. There aren't that many games that I would still want to get that I can think of. Maybe, like, uh, the, what is it? The 999 or whatever it's called. It's not, I keep wanting to say Mighty Number no. 9. That's not the one I mean. The other, that other game where you, like, control 100 people at once. Uh, like, 100 superheroes at once. Oh, Dink, for such a silly name, Dingles has the awesome armor set. Oh, Razor Shard and status stuff. And then I guess Bushido is poison? Oh, or maybe not. Bushido, oh, that's like the ninja sword, but like as dual swords. Yeah, well, 90% sales. 90% off sales, amazing. Just waiting for Tyrak. I guess Tyrak has to make all their ammo again. That's the downside to being a bow gunner in these games is like you have to spend a lot of time in between quests getting stuff. 
Oh, they switched the light bowgun to get bonus shot. Cool. Oh, you know, you know, nearly filled out your SD card with games. Yeah. It's funny, that reminds me of the completionist video where uh, he and a bunch of people went around getting enough money to buy all the games on the, both eShops, which is insane. But it's amazing that they managed to do it before the time ran out. I think I'm a little off key, sorry. Okay, wait, are we all ready? Yeah, we are. I forgot this game actually tells you if not everybody has readied up because it will leave them behind if they aren't. Um, a feature that is not on the private Monster Hunter 1 server yet. Oh yeah, I realized I should probably move the map back onto the main screen, right? Because I've had it on the bottom screen. I've had it on the bottom screen for, like, ages, because I kind of prefer it down there. Uh... How, how about that? There we go. So y'all can see what I can see. And you don't have to keep wondering at, like, how I know where people are. Oh, you got all the... Yeah, getting all the main... All the... All the mascots. Oh, you know what? It might be... Uh, well, kind of. I, I was gonna say, like, you mentioned Metroid, and I thought, like, it might be worth getting, like... Uh... Oh, what's it called? Um... Samus Returns. But I also... I think I went on, like... I've been having, like, discussions with various people how, like, the original and AM2R are better than the, like, official remake. So I'm like, ah, oh, maybe I'll pass on the, on Nintendo's official, uh, Metroid 2 remake. But, I don't know, they have the, I guess they have the, like, Prime collection on the Wii U, right? So that, that could be cool to have. Although I have a feeling that, um... I have a feeling that the Wii controls probably make um, Metroid and Metro Metroid Prime and Prime 2 way too easy. Oh, ouch. That ate, that ate up like all my stamina, Scoom. Oh, a Delix. Poor Delix. Oh, look out for them twisters. It's gonna fly up in the twister again. Oh, oops. Yikes. Yipers. Oh, you just got three you on Wii U. Nice. Oh, I didn't see that somebody did a healing. Somebody did a group heal. That's cool. Hey, maybe with all these sales, I'll, we'll actually see more than, like, 15 people online at once. That would be cool. I swear, the peak amount of players has always been less than, like, 20 whenever I've been playing. But apparently there used to be thousands playing this in, in like, the... Even in, like, the, you know, Western version. Oh, nice. Baryot's attack pushed its arm into position where it can hit it. Oh, oops. I forgot. Sometimes... Sometimes the advancing shield charge will destroy projectiles, and I keep freaking... freaking it up. Oh, cool. Xenoblade. I don't know much about Xenoblade in the series. I just remember, I remember the hype around Chronicles X, because it had the, um, it had the giant robot mech. Mech suit, mech armor. Oh, what the heck? Sand Baryod, you're so silly. You're not even, like, attacking anybody. I swear, it went in a direction that nobody was. Oops. 
I don't know. I've heard Xenoblade... Cr I don't want to call anybody out, but I've heard that Xenoblade Chronicles 1 described as, like, a waifu game. Is that... Is that an accurate assessment, or is that just, like, really... It sounds... It feels like it's a really, uh... uh what's the word? Re really reductive way of describing it. Oh, your first game was X while you got... Oh. Oh, yeah, isn't there something... There's something about, like... The worlds are, like, on the backs of giant monsters or something? Or is that... I don't know. I've heard, like, very... Xenoblade is one of those series that I, like... I've heard weird bits of trivia about and, like, have no idea how it works. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah. I should probably have a you're welcome emote because I, I find myself now. Oh, two is the waifu game with gambling. Oh, like gotcha. Kind of a gotcha game. Wa waifu gotcha. How did I take so much damage? Is it because we were talking about... I'm talking about anime games. Okay, wait. If it doesn't turn towards me... Okay, then I can sharpen. Excuse me while I sharpen. Oh, frickin' Barry off move me into Dingus. That's a phrase I didn't think I'd be saying today. Actually, I should have said Sandy. Sandy made me move into Dingus. And get hit by his attack. Oh god. Wait, wait. There we go. Oh, you know what? I did watch... I watched Xenoblade Chronicles 2 played by, um... Joseph Anderson of, like, you know... Of very long YouTube video fame. I watched him play Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and he had a blast. <laughs> he kind of had a blast concluding that it was, like, kind of all a big... a big goof. Which... I don't know. It seemed like a pretty earnest game. <laughs> I think it's stamping on the monster. Oh, X is on an alien planet. Oh, yeah, and then 3 has the guy who shoots, like, paper... Who shoots, like, paper bat, bats and stuff. Right? Here we go. Xenoblade 3. I saw the trailers for Xenoblade 3, and it looks ridiculous. It looks ridiculous, like, but, like, in a way that... In a very earnest way, where, like, I wouldn't make fun of it, but it looks very silly. Kind of like Xenoblade 2 with all of the, like, Welsh accents. But yeah, now that, now that I think of it, I do remember learning more than I would ever otherwise want to know about Xenoblade Chronicles 2, having not even played it. Okay, let's see if I got any parts. But yeah, there's like there's some part at the beginning where the big the giant like turtle dragon that the main guy is friends with die like dies, but it doesn't really die. He thinks it dies, but then it, it like reverts into a baby form like like a phoenix. <laughs> Leave my marbles alone. What? What are you talking about, Ken? Uh, also... You don't have any marbles? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Rest in peace. Empty head. Uh, I mean, if you don't have marbles, I didn't take them. Pretty much just... Dumped... So oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. It's not sand. True. Any. Uh, actually, let me check. Let me. 
Let me check what I need. Because it's like, I need some special tusks, which might... It's like heavy amber tusks, I think, are regular Baryoth. But then there was some sand Baryoth parts, right? Yeah, sand Baryoth Lash. Okay. Well, I need one more Sandy Lash. And a few... Uh... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check another parts later. Felt Shocker Plus, I think. I don't know, I don't know how best to get Shell Shocker Pluses. I don't know. I will say that, um, I think the last thing I'll say on Xenoblade stuff is that Because uh. I know regular Shell Shocker is laggy, but I know that uh, Zen, Zen has like a Shocker shell or something like that. I don't know. Also, I noticed I noticed the awesome looking Devil Joe bow gun that has like Devil Joe's mouth on it. That's looks that looks insane. Oh nice, I actually got polisher. Wait, did I say what I was going to say? I don't remember. Oh, I know. It, regular Xenoblade Chronicles looked like... The, like, kind of passive-looking combat system didn't look very interesting to me. But... That's just the kind of... Like, I don't... I'm the kind of person who doesn't really like, um... The, like, World of Warcraft-style combat and stuff, you know? Where, like, you queue up your moves on Hotbar and move around sometimes. So. I don't know. Maybe Chronicles X is more fun. Would be more fun for me. Uh, never really learned how that works. How that game works. I was also kind of thinking about getting Star Fox Zero. Because even though everybody complained about how bad, quote-unquote bad, the control scheme was, I'm kind of curious, and I know that I'm pretty sure it's the kind of game that won't come out on another system just because it's, like, so specific. Like, the way... Like, it was specifically designed to be... Oops. A Wii U game. With the gamepad. Hello? Oh, there it is. Anyway, I'm gonna go for the tail. Because I know that a lash is a tail part, even though I don't know why it's called a lash. Very off lash. It's such a weird term, but apparently it's, that's what they've used since Freedom, Monster Hunter Freedom, or whatever game had she rank in English. So I guess uh, Freedom Unite or Freedom Two. Oh, it's gonna roar. Uh, Oh, whoop. How'd you get all the way over there? How'd you get all the way over there, Barry? Oh, oh I freaking fell for it again. Ah. Uh. Man, as a Lancer, like, you never want to put away your shield, your weapon, because it just is 
it's such a it's such a danger to like not have your weapon drawn. Like half your like you just can't really do much, and it takes so long to do as well. Oh. Oh well, I mean I hit it, but not where I was trying to. I can't see. Oh. Hello? Oh man. I lost my purple sharpness with a shield bash. I gotta stop actually doing the bash some uh, every time. Because sometimes all you need is to like charge through it. Uh, what do I do? I'm in the eye of the storm. And I got staggered into getting attacked. Okay, well, I gotta get out of here or I'm gonna get killed. Whoa. Okay. Mega potion negated. Uh, 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 get out of here. These little twisters remind me of something, some other game, and I can't place it. Oh, come on. I was holding down the block button. Oh, Dingles. Oh, man. Dingles took so much damage to get knocked out. That's the... Man, that's the insane thing about knockout, is that you usually get knocked out because you took a lot of damage, so you're gonna be in, like, super danger after getting knocked out. More than, like, you otherwise would be. Oh yeah, Xenoblade worlds are massive. That's, that's, that's the other thing I remember about it. Oops. Alright, I guess I'm gonna be healing for the next, like, two minutes. I think Tingles is on the tail. Somebody broke an arm. Come back here. You overgrown mountain cat. With a freaky with a freaky scale tail. Well oh, the largest are like 40, 400 square kilometers. That's insane. I wonder how worth it it is sometimes, because you think of all these... Uh, so many of these games are, like, massive worlds that, like, don't have a lot in them sometimes, but... There's always, like, a... There's, like, a cool factor to the scale, but at some point, I think it kind of drops off, where it's, like, how... How much, like, how... How much more do you even notice the difference? Hey, Mia yeah, welcome to the stream. Oh my gosh, I think this is gonna be my last quest, actually. You came in at the end of the stream. I just looked at the time. Uh, I was just getting into the swing of things, too, but also, uh, my neck kind of hurts and I need to, I'm gonna like, you know, not have a voice tomorrow if I go for like another hour. Come on, I need the tail. Show me the tail. Oh, the tail's not over there. Oh, nice. I avoided the... I avoided the... war somehow. There it is. Oh my god. I'm so glad it didn't become a UFO, because that was exactly what it should have done, by all rights. Whoa! How much slime do we have? Oh, I guess Dingle's weapons have slime on them. And maybe Tyrek has been using Slime Shot. Oh, there we go. What is a voice? 
A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? Maybe I should stream. You know what? I've been using this stream as an excuse to play games that I want to play, but like haven't started or I never finished. And uh, Symphony of the Night is such a game. I like, I started playing it and I like kind of stopped. Oops. Uh, sorry. Go, 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 go. Oh man, I thought I could stop it. Superman, will you stop the train in time? Where the heck is it going? Oh. What does slime? What does slime do? Oh, slime. It's the same. It's the original version of blast status. You build up slime on a monster, and at a certain point, it'll just blow up and do raw, like some fixed amount of raw damage. Uh, or true damage, excuse me. It'll do, like, a bunch of true explosive damage to the monster, which is awesome. But if you're fighting a, uh, you know, Bracky Dios, then Bracky will just, you know, blow you up with it pretty easy. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, that's, that's pretty funny. I was about to say Dingus is really close, or Dingles is really close. Have I been calling them Dingus this whole time? I'm so sorry. Dingles was so low on health, I was about to say, oh man, I hope Dingles is, like, careful. And then, right before I said that, <laughs> end of the game. Yeah, well, the funny thing is that Slime is str even stronger in this game than Blast. So, Slime is kind of the meta... The meta of 3 Ultimate in the same way that, like, Lance was the meta of Monster Hunter 1. And, you know, Longsword is the meta of, I guess, Freedom Ultimate or something? I don't know. Some we some weapons and stuff is just, like, the meta of everything. Okay. Oh, I didn't get to do the run. Aw. Oh. So they nerfed it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, it should be pretty easy to nerf because um, players can't see what the... Uh, players can't see what the final... Um, what the actual damage is. Oh, look at that. I love this end screen. Barry, uh, Sandy dies while I'm just jumping. Oh, that was a gold crown Sandy? Wow. Uh, but yes, yeah, slime, slime got nerfed and changed into blast because um, it was called slime because the only monster that had it was Brachydios, and it was supposed to be like a slime mold. Thanks for the hunts. And then we have to leave by like the actual exit. Yeah, I don't... Come to think of it, I don't know what other monsters even use Blast in, like, 4th gen. I'm only familiar with, like, Dodogama. And I guess Basil Juice uses Blast in World. And maybe they have some other monsters, some other, like, new monsters that do it. Uh, anyway, did I get a Lash? I didn't carve a Lash from that. Nope, I, so I need to hunt more Sand Baryoth. But anyway... Look at this, I got a cool new, I got amazing new armor suit, armor, armor layout that I like much better than the, the style of the previous one. And, uh, had a blast, haha, -ha, had a blast playing. So, it looks like the server's gonna be up for a good time longer. Oh, Molten Tigrex, interesting, or Tigrex, depending on your preference. I see. So that's what Molten T-Rex is for. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to be coming back for more 3 Ultimate on Thursday. Yeah. 
And thank y'all. Thank y'all for joining me. And thanks, Ken, for helping out on the quests. It's good to good to see you again. Always good to see you, bud. Um, so yeah, for now, uh, more through you on Thursday. I think starting in April, because next, next Monday is going to be in April, uh, I think I'm going to continue my Metroid journey. We're going to go to Super Metroid next. And, you know, talking about all this emulation stuff, I think I'm going to, like, lug my f Super Nintendo over here and plug it up, plug it in, set it up. Because, you know, I want to use this retro tank that I bought, and I've got, I think I have a S-Video adapter, so it'll look really nice. Anyway, uh, that's what you got to look forward to on upcoming streams. So thank you all again for joining me, and until next time, I'll be seeing you.